Alrighty, folks. So we had a successful run last round. I have learned since my suspension is settled and stuff that I goofed up with my front shocks. So I'm gonna have to revamp something here. I think we're gonna have to make a new mount because that's not really enough suspension travel. <laughs> I mean, they're short shocks and all, but I'm gonna have to make a new bracket and kind of bring it down a bit or something. We'll figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. We will address that. I can either move this mount up a little bit, but I don't know how that would look if I put that pin up over here somewhere. So, I don't know. I'm not gonna think about it right now. I think uh, for right now and in this one, I am gonna take this stuff and we're gonna make a window frame because I don't have one for there. So, the plan is gonna be to, um, I don't have the right size. You can't, well, at least I couldn't find one longer than the, the three foot mark. And we need about four foot. But I do want to make a hinged front window frame. So I'll do it hinged. We'll try to make something so there's an adjuster on it. That's the, uh, the whole plan. Originally, I was just going to make it out of some flat stock, cut it on the plasma table, but I can't find uh, a piece of steel that size. I was going to make it out of like eighth inch steel and then I'm going to reinforce it on the inside. That is the plan. So I'm going to take some flat stock and we're going to do it. I wasn't exactly sure what size I wanted the outer frame to be. So I bought some two inch and then I got some inch and a half. So uh, we might not need all of this. And then this other piece is inches all they had, but we're going to use that for the inner lip. So that'll be the the extra bracing and then the glass will be able to sit up against that. So we're going to use just some simple stuff to make a window frame. That's kind of the goal. So pretty much any feller out there who has a rod that doesn't have a window and they, they want one that actually works. That's the, uh, the plan. I'm going to show you, show you how we do this. All right. Well, I guess first things first, we're going to start making the, we're going to figure out what size we want to go. And then we're going to make the basic up bitty do top and down. And then the idea is to use this plate. And I kind of got thicker than I needed. And I'm probably going to cut that on the plasma, but you don't really need a plasma to do it. But I want it to follow the cowl. So it's going to actually taper up and up. So we'll see how this works. Maybe I have enough. I can make like uh, an adjustable, like a window uh, slide out of. All right, well, let's get going. All right, well, we're gonna try the inch and a half because I really think two inch is gonna be too thick for a frame. See here, we'll be able to overlap. I should have enough for this to hinge away. I think if it overlaps here, it won't look too awful. <laughs> the reason, man, I went probably way overkill on that six inch if you think about it. But, uh, well, let's just start really basic. We're going to make... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So the glass will be there. Be flat hinge. I'm talking to myself. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just, let's make this triangle piece first, or I don't know, half square, half move, whatever you want to call it, this to this down. We won't worry about this part yet. We'll do the first one and then we'll either tack it on or we'll do something and then we'll kind of try to figure the math out on this. This one will be pretty straightforward because we'll, we, we want, well, I plan to do a one inch just sitting on the dash. So when it opens, it kind of does its thing. But then there's a ledge for the glass to sit on. Yeah, you'll see, I'll show you. Anywho, um, yeah, we'll, we'll start making these other bits quick.
Well, we have loosely goosey started our upper part of the window frame. You can kind of have a look see there. Uh, we're going to trim this back. I wasn't sure. We cut everything kind of long. I think this thing will have a nice transitional swoop. I want to leave it a little low so we can put some padding or like some something underneath there. So this is the initial idea and then it's going to come up. It'll be a little fat on the bottom, I think. I don't know. I kind of did overkill with that plate, but we got it. Unless I have, I don't think I have like four inch. Ooh, maybe we don't have to waste that good piece. Look at that. Hmm. All right, we could use that, but I don't know if I have to. It'd be pretty wasteful. All we gotta do now. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how I did my other truck. I think I measured like the middle and then I measured my edges and then on my plasma table, I was able to measure an arc. You can kind of just do that loosey goosey. I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cheat. I got the plasma table, so I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> but I mean, for a feller who doesn't have one, I'll kind of explain how I come about to making up the curve and then uh, you can, I'll draw it out and then you can probably cut it with a grinder or you can do something. So I'm gonna draw it out and then when I cut it on the plasma table, we'll see how close I actually am to what I told you how to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have to make a visor for this thing too because well, that part is ugly. So if we at least make some kind of a visor that will doll up the top part kind of nice too. We do wanna make this hinge. So that is the plan. And it will get beefed up with a bunch of bracing inside. So. It's on, I left one inch of uh, meat in there, but that's gonna take up some of it. So that should, I'm hoping to give us like three eighths, half an inch. I would like to have half an inch of glass to be able to glue in there. Uh, but there's other ways we can set that up to glue. Cause like a normal window frame would come apart. I actually have a T window frame. I just realized the other night when I was uh, getting a pop upstairs, <laughs> but it's just super rotten. So it's not like I could use it. It does have the big hinge, but I'm gonna make everything as though most people don't have window frames. So I'll base it on that. But as in here, you can see there's a screw, then this top bar would come out and then your glass would slide into a channel. And we could totally do that, but I don't think it's really necessary. Up here, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's, uh, it's just super rotten. It's just a good wall hanger, I guess. Or you can use it as a template, but all right, uh, yes, let me set up and we're gonna get the math or we're gonna figure out what we're starting with here. Yes, that's the plan. Cause I think if you look over here, this has got a good angle here. So if this thing started to slope up, we would get our coverage that I want cause we're not counting the dash. We're just gonna end up down here. That way you can foam it or do something but we want at least after this flat edge is on there, at least half an inch up on top of that so we can glue. So it's gonna make for a relatively thick lower frame, but whatever, it is what it is, right? All right, well, I guess uh, let's do some measuring and figure this out. Sure I do on the right side? Pretty sure I am. much does this give us oh way too much that's cool so this thing's even still too big but whatever let's be really dumb about this 
we are going to be on top of this flesh. <clears throat> this flesh. There and there. So we'll end up taking this off, but we'll do a couple measurements quick here. Well, I had to go take a break because explaining this was starting to confuse myself. I'm more of a doer than I am to explain things a lot of time. I kind of figure stuff out as I go. So anyways, what I'm gonna do to make my life simple here is I know this marking, I know this mark is like my dash from the lower part. So what I'm gonna do is we'll measure off the middle to here, how low I wanna go. So that's gonna be 14 inches. So what I'm gonna do for my own reference is here, I'm gonna go, this one has to be 14 inches. I'll maybe figure this out after the upper, but I do know the highest point on here is 13. So this line and this line here, we'll say, is gonna be 13 inches. From there, we can figure out our seven eighths and we should be golden. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to take this frame off now. I'm going to mount, like we'll tack this on and then we'll kind of do the rough math on what the angle is that we got to do. So let's do that. And then hopefully this will make more sense to me and to you guys. <laughs> All right, well, let's move some of this stuff. Let's see. Oops. Sorry, buddy. If we can make sense out of this. All right. Hopefully, you can see that. So, I'm going to grab my tape measure. This is our halfway mark. The top was supposed to be 13. And the bottom 14. Sure seems like a lot I gotta come up, but that might make sense. Well, that's about right. So we got an arc. Well, it's a big curve. Well, that's a big curve in the window. <clears throat> so I guess in the end, if we do a bendy curve, this is what we should get. That's our 14 inch mark. Uh, I'm trying to think how to do this that makes sense. I'm going to end up using my plasma cutter. Actually, I could cut it by hand. Let's all do this with hand tools and then you can see that this is doable. Get you more centered in there. All right. We got my welder set up. We got our 14 inch center sloop there. Um, let's do an initial little zap. That was a crappy spot weld. So that should give us there. We'll do the arch down to the bottom here. We'll do the arch to the bottom on this side. So that should give us our initial cut line. If my marker would write. 
Mm. That one's not happy, so let's use that one. Cool. So we got that. We knew this was going to be my dash line. But I needed to go above that. I needed to go above that. I guess seeing how we measured out this was 13. It sure doesn't give us a lot. Hmm. I think I have to revamp. We're going to need the bigger plate now that I look at this. The bottom was 14, the other one was 13, and then we wanted to go 7 eighths above this. And uh, we're only going to get like, like half, half an inch, which is not enough, I feel, to glue my glass and weld in this strapping. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I have enough of this strapping. Well, we can put a bigger piece on the bottom. Well, that's sucky. So we do that one. These were what, an inch? Seven eighths, I wanted seven eighths above this. This is not gonna work for us. All right, we should be pretty close to the money here. So that one's there. Come on. Line these bad boys up. Close enough. It's just a window. <laughs> All right, we got our center. I have my other piece for reference. So we know we had this on the bottom. That one was there. Let me measure something to make sure. I think the 15 mark. All right, so this was my dash. Don't care, this is how high I want this frame to be. What, it seems big, it seems huge. I don't know why. Like that's, would make the lower part of my frame like two and a half inches. That's insane. Oh, it's because of that dash that I did. Dun, dun. Well, let's make it. If it's really ugly, we'll change it. So we are gonna go here. Because I think I gave it an inch or seven eighths. Man, why is that thing so cruddy? All the tapes coming off. Huh, we did an inch. Well, let's do an inch. Not a big deal. All right. So we know 14 was our lower, and then 13 was our dash in the center. So. If we go here, 14 is supposed to be our lowest part of our, there. 13 is what I would get us to the dash, and then we're going to go a foot. We'll go super wide, and then whatever, we'll trim it down. We'll see how ugly it looks, and then we'll figure it out from there. So anyways, we got this here. We got to make an arc, and these got to follow the frame, or that's the idea. I am going to tack this bad boy onto our 14 mark. Let's make sure this thing sits kind of square. Hopefully that sits good. Now we will bend this baby down to the bottom. Get right to that edge. Do the same on this side. For 
with any luck. Everything stays the same. Side to side. Let's draw our arc. Alrighty. And, oh. We just need to know how far up we gotta go from here. Man, this is a bad tape measure. We are like two and three eighths up from that mark. First we'll get this off because we don't need that anymore. So we have our initial mark. Now we gotta go two and three eighths. Yuck, that is just a big, I don't know how much I like that. Okay. And then my thing said it was 13, so we were going 12 in the middle, which I think I did that already. Well, I did, but I didn't. All right. So let's get this. Oh, dang it. Square this up. Check this out again. Okay, 12 is the lower one, so we're cool with that. Super fat arc that I'm not happy about. All right, well, that leaves us with this big fat thing. So let's cue the time lapse. I'm going to just cut it with a zip cut because this is what most people would have. So Let's just do the same thing. Let's try it out. Let's be different.
Well, I can honestly say I'm not in love with that look, but I think it's necessary, as crappy as that is. It looks like a, a stormtrooper mask or something. <laughs> Uh, something from Star Wars. Yeah, but I mean the idea is this is gonna open and work. The dilemma is because of the dash I used. Oh, you know, I can trim this down. I mean this thing was a lot of work, but oh. See in the end I want to have a plate sitting in here that just hovers above the dash going over But I think I can cut this down a little more yet Even this is like excessive but I'm gonna have, again, a plate on the inside and then maybe we, well, I wanna be able to have uh, an adjuster so we can actually flip the window out. That's kind of the goal. Uh, but if I look at this, this sits here, that's a lot. Uh, I don't have my tape measure, but we can probably take like at least a quarter inch off of there, which I think overall will change the look. It was a lot of work cutting it, but I'm trying to build it in a way that probably somebody else would be doing this at home. Because most of these cars, if you get them, they don't have a window frame in there, so... And if you're sitting in here, that's kind of a big lip. If you think about that, I don't know what I was measuring. It's not relevant, doesn't matter at this point. But, uh... I think we're gonna figure out some way to make a nice sharpie mark across here following the dash nicely and then uh, we'll, we'll zip cut it again as much work as that is but that'll give that a nice uh, not so it's not so much of an ugly look let's put it that way like if we can get this down a little bit more like in that range that's close to this two inch that'd be pretty good I'd be pretty happy with that We'll uh, see how close we can get to that. I think this has to come down a little more. So I got to make sure I adjust everything right. Because when this is over, I want it to be able to at least have like three-eighths of an inch or something over that when we uh, put a foam pad or a piece of rubber on there, it at least is going to cover up the bottom. Like here, it looks like it got a little high. So, I don't know. I'll tweak and adjust. We will get her close. And then uh, I'm going to grab a Sharpie and then we're going to make a line on the inside. We're going to zip cut it one more time. But I think that'll get rid of the uh, Stormtrooper look and it'll look kind of like a windshield ink.
Well, I got a little carried away. I kind of ended up doing all my framing, but you can kind of see how this uh, works out. It's, uh, we got our outside perimeter. This is a little fat because of the dash, what we did. Inside though, I kind of trimmed up. This is like kind of plenty for the glass to glue in. I'm just gonna cut above the Sharpie mark. So that should thin this profile better. And then I screwed up when it came to my upper hinge, but that's okay, I had a spare one. This is just what I'm gonna use right now. I don't know if it'll be permanent or not. It's kind of tacked in, so we'll be able to kind of either screw it in or zap it. I'll probably just screw it in. And then uh, later we'll have to figure out uh, a latch here for the arm so the window can actually work. But we gotta go back to grinding, so let's cut this out. Actually, I'm gonna see if my plasma works with that. I know I'm kind of cheating. I said I want to use basic tools, but people have plasma cutters, right? Oh, that would be so much better. <laughs> All right, let's uh, fire up the plasma. We are gonna quickly cut this and then uh, I'll clean it up and uh, Let's test fit it in there and see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll be all right. It's gotta be okay. We kinda spent a lot of time screwing around with it. But the idea is gonna be, I wanna just glue the glass in here. If you're not comfortable with that, there's enough lip on here that you could make something to screw it and then kinda sandwich the glass in. I'm fine with gluing it, but okay. Anyways, enough yabber. Let's uh, quickly cut this, clean it up, and uh, we'll test fit it in the car. Well, you may be wondering what I'm doing. Well, I I basically uh, screwed up. I must have done something with the plasma and kind of did a little wow wow. And uh, it didn't look right. It actually was like, had a nice profile and last profile, brrr, went down and then came back up. So this is what I always stress about metal. Like you don't have to worry if you screw up because you can always weld it and fix it. So anyways, I had to build it back up. I used some coat hanger. We just weld it. You could zap, zap, zap a seam on there. I guess hindsight, I could have welded that piece on. Now that I see that, that might've been faster. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna grind it down. And this is the piece that I cut off the top. So it's kind of like my profile. So we're following it. For the most part, it's good. It's uh. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can't see everything. Well, you can. I don't know. I'm just not worried about it. It'll be okay. Anywho, I'm going to grind this up. We'll compare it. Hopefully everything's good. And then uh, we can uh, stick it on the car there and see how that works.
That was a bunch of work, but not bad. You've seen our little repair. You can't even tell I did it anymore. Everything kind of looks more or less uniform. We, uh, I'm not good at figuring out where stuff goes, so I cleaned a spot, I tacked the hinge there, to which then I lifted it. I was able to spray paint in there. Uh, put a little light on here. I only got a couple screws in, but anyways, that's, that's in there. It kind of does its thing now. So we got, well, it's a little tight there. We got to work on that, <laughs> but it's all right. It uh, at least swings open now because that's the nicest part with these old hot rods is you open up the window, you get a nice breeze in there. Um, seems a little rickety, but once the glass is in, it'll be strong. I think this is where my dash has that little uppity up. I got to give her a slight little tap but that'll end up working very smoothly after. Uh, what are we gonna do now? We need, we need to now make some way that when we kick the window out, it'll hold it there. Like we need to make some kind of a slide, like a slot. Uh, let me show you on my truck. Because if you're not familiar with these, then you don't know. So on the Model A's, they have these little bars in the corner. So essentially, it's just a stud, and we got to make a slotted uh, bar. So basically, we'll be able to do this, and then kind of kick it out, and then we can kind of sandwich it, and then the window will stay open, and we get all the breezes. So that's the plan. So. Like that thing's rinky dink on there. We'll just have to build a tab that'll hold like a pivoting thing. And then we need a slotted bar. Uh, there's numerous ways we can do that. Uh, you could drill holes all the way across and then cut the center out. Um, you could take probably like an alternator bracket. I think that would, if you had two of those, that would have all the swing that you need. I don't have one to show you. Oh, like this. If you had some kind of an alternator bracket, then we can get the window to open up, like whatever. When you lock it, it'll pull it tight, and then you can unloosen it, and it'll kind of do its swing. So that's an idea. Um, I think I'm gonna dig around, see what I got. I want to. Uh, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I think it should be pretty simple. Uh, about midway up, we'll probably do that. Well. 
Yeah, I think so. I think there should be a stud somewhere here. And then we can weld the tab onto here because when we got the glass in, it's only going to be a little bit thicker in here. So that, yeah, I don't know. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm pretty happy. Well, I think my tip was worn out on my plasma cable. I cut a new one of these. This one, for some reason, was like a different size. So I think it was a, a worn out tip. But I think we had a good day. We got a window frame made. It's hinged. It's got locks. Uh, we just got to get a piece of glass or something for it. But overall, it's uh, good to go. So this is similar to the Model A style. You kind of pop down on the two tabs. And then, uh, well, if you had your glass, you would just push out on it. And ta-da! Free air movement. Kind of cool, huh? <laughs> I mean, that'll move a lot of air. That opens up quite a bit. I loosely based it on another, uh, like a Model A style, so it is what it is. I mean, if a feller had a plasma or you had something, these would be very easy to make. If you didn't, you would just drill holes along the whole thing and then run your zip cut across and it'd be that that easy i cheated on that but then again some people wouldn't even want the window to open they would just have that frame and just have it in there but hey it is what it is
I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Turned out nice. The bottom actually looks looks the part now. We'll uh, kind of get her closed. Once the window's glued in, it'll add a whole lot of extra strength to that. But you can see it doesn't look overly bulky now. It's uh, we lost that stormtrooper look. That's all gone now. <laughs> ah, yes, nice. So we didn't do a lot of funky math. We just kind of went in, did whatever. Looked like it worked. We tacked it there. I might have to trim this a little bit once there's some glass in it, but overall, like a pane of glass isn't that thick, so should be fine. So this is what I'm saying. If you didn't want to, you don't like the idea of gluing it, you could have, make a little piece of angle and then screw it all the way across. So when you put your glass in, or I don't know how you would support it, but you'd put it in and you'd have another rail that would come up and then you can just screw it down across everywhere. We still need to make some kind of a tie down for this, but whatever. It's not a, not a big deal. Very cool. Very cool. Well, it's been a long day. I feel the next round we're going to have to address the front shocks, fix those quick. We'll probably start making a sun visor because it does need that. It needs something. That's pretty ugly up on top. I know everybody talks about a top, but that, I don't know, somebody else can figure what they want. Most of the time I just use wood and then I'll just cover it with something. That works fine. You have all these screw places. All these panels come out so you can get inside to try to screw them or I don't know. That's how I did it on my T anyways. And uh, yeah, I still have to dress that brake. I haven't looked at that. It's still dribbling. It's making a mess on the ground there, but. And then we'll have to do this door. This door definitely needs some attention. And then uh, I think we're just about done with her. I'm trying to think what was left on my to-do list. And I think that almost covered what I was gonna get her up to. I want to get a couple of those buttoned up and then I want to brag to 54 back in and I want to work on that for a little while until the snow flies anyways. We'll see how far we get. Anywho, like I said, I want to uh, thank you folks for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.